downpouring, right? But this is a good time to be out here. Sasquatch know that humans don't don't mess around in the rain. That could be beneficial at some point. Nothing wrong with it. Just leave it there for now. We're gonna go this way. Um, there's some huge deer tracks. Right on trail. Which, uh, you know, you might, you might think is kind of odd, but this place is, nobody uses it at all. So we're gonna take it nice and slow. We're gonna take it nice and slow. So I've been doing alternate exercising, so I'll be more apt to not feel like I need to hike, 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 like go really, really far and walk so much. And uh, that's a game trail and a half right there. Okay, and it goes right in there to either another trail. Yeah, it does. It goes to another trail. Okay. And then the game trail goes across here. Okay. So that way when I run the camera, I won't feel like I need to uh, exercise at the same time. So a lot of times that's what I'm... I'm looking to do, stretch my legs. And at the same time, I'm trying to make a video to deer hoof. So I was going to go play some basketball. And uh, possibly volleyball. Everyone that showed up for volleyball left because of the rain. I mean, it's thundering too, uh, off and on. So, you know, I get why people are scared, but... Um, I don't really, I don't really usually play, I just kind of support my buddy, but I was going to play basketball too. Whoa, what the hell are the odds of that happening? There's usually nobody back here. I bet not catch shit. No, they're leaving already. They just pulled out already. Let's double back. My truck is off. Oh, they are. They're coming down this way. Fuck me, why? That natural sage. It's really wet. Is that is that natural sage right there? Go check the truck. There shouldn't be any vehicles in here at all, especially with this rain. So that white vehicle might be with its berries in bloom. It might be an officer or a park park people. We want to find out. Plus, I won't mind dropping this 
Sage. All right, well, my vehicle stands alone. So I'm off on the side, you know what I mean? Like, That is weird. That is hella creepy. Look at that. Did I do that once upon a time? I wonder if I put that there once, like many, many moons ago. It's the only thing I could think of. Is maybe I had a cracked, like, gnome thing that was gifted to me or something, so, so I gifted it. So instead of throwing it out, I brought it back out. Oh, no. Maybe somebody could tell me what this stuff is. There with the tent gear. Yeah, I don't know. They didn't come in here, so that's good. But this place, you see, they put these boards up, and uh, they had little signs on there that said, you know, no trespassing, blah blah blah. No ATV riding, this, that, the other thing. And I get it, there was there was a couple of kids that found this place and were tearing in here. Um, it really sucks because I wanted to as well. But whatever. So we got some good news, possibly. Um, I found someone who can fix my vehicle, my AC, which is a plus. But I'm not going to be able to afford it. So um, I'm at a I'm at a major, major crossroads. Um, I might have to sell my vehicle and get one that has AC, but by selling it with no AC in the summer, I'm going to lose a lot of the value. And I mean, I put a lot into that thing. I like, I don't like having a big vehicle because of gas, but I do because it's safe, you know, for the little guys. It's very safe, spacious very spacious for them uh, you know if I have to do something I'm, I'm able you know, I'm able to do off-road things and get places in the winter too things like that I would be able to get you know make trips like hopefully I'd be able to make trips with the, with the dirt bike too which is something that I wanted to do for a very long time now I just really want to make these plans that I've been really holding back on. And, uh, whatever. You get so close. I've, I've been at this for so long. I know you guys are probably like, damn, man, shut up already. But it's, it's hard for me. It's very hard for me. It's just one thing that I could... I could do, you know, I can control, and that would make so many things so much better. I know, rant over. Um, I'll probably premiere this, and, and like, you know, whatever. Every time I premiere it, I regret it, I regret talking so much, because I hear myself. 
and I'll uh, I'll put it on mute, but then you guys will ask me a question. Look at that, huh? You'll ask me a question, so I will turn the volume back on. That's bare feet. Look at that. Look at when I leave a footprint. I'll even do it right next to it and press in as hard as I can. That's a bare foot. Is it a Sasquatch bare foot? That's a whole nother question. Here it is again. Heel. Toes. You see the toes? Look at that. It's not much bigger. It's about the same size as mine. There's one again. Boom. Coming down this way. Look, that one's... They're not... They're not very wide. I mean, I've walked barefoot through here. You know what I mean? So... This is one of the places that I would walk barefoot at because it's sand, right? But here's my thing. There's no traces of this coming in or out. It just kind of starts over here. Which means... Which means... No fresh, no fresh, no fresh. Look at this. None of this is fresh. come around the other side of it I don't know it's probably a human footprint that was just bare I mean if that is a forest person it's not a large one here's the here's probably the last one right here and it looks like it's going look at the strides whatever this is is making here and look how heavy it is. Whatever, that's the thing. Whatever it is, it's very heavy. Very heavy. So we were all the way over here. Where we caught the last one. Where we caught the last one at. We were all the way over here. That's me. Uh, yeah, that's one of them. The rest are me pressing in a little bit here. Simply amazing. Very cool. If that's you, my friends, very cool. Thank you for showing us. Goes into the damn woods. There's nothing. It looks like whatever it was went up, maybe up into that tree area, into the grass, and maybe just took one big step. Right there. I was looking at the wrong spot again. Maybe stepped out of there. So let's just look at that. If you were to even the closest spot to that, you know, without being in the sand, would be about here to that point. And that's a big, that's me all the way stretched out. That's me all the way stretched out more, like really splitting my, like doing a split. See how it caved into? Really, really interesting. That's because I was extended and I slid. That's another thing in sand. You, you gotta, a lot of people always look at prints in snow and prints in sand and stuff. And you gotta understand that they do different things in different terrain. Your feet do different things in different terrain. I'll say it again. Feet do different things in different terrain. This is hard sand, right? This is hard sand. That is soft, loose sand. Gonna do something totally different. People look in snow. They don't take into consideration that it's melted and it started to lose its shape or change its shape or start to look different over time. Those things right there, we caught them in the beginning of the rain. But after a long rain, now it's wet. Now it's wet sand and it changes. It's changed the it's changed the integrity of what it originally looked like. But regardless, whatever that is is not huge. 
It is not huge. Doesn't mean that it's not a forest person. It just means it's not huge. At least its feet are not huge. Could there be big, well, you know, could there be Bigfoot that don't have big feet? Shit, why not? That's why we say it might not always be a Bigfoot, right? There's a million things that could be going on out there. Could have been a wee person, right? Every time I come here, this has been different. That looks like one right there again. That's a bare foot. Look at the break on it, though. Right? Look at that hump that comes up on it. Heel, hump, toe. I don't know if that's the same one. Yeah, so. Somebody could be in here and knows, like... But again, why would somebody go hiking in, uh, you know, bare feet or... Again, I do it occasionally. So, it's not... We can't rule it out completely. If I would have got something directly from them, which I was hoping, right? I was hoping they were going to be like something telepathically and give me an answer I'm sorry I, like, I can't I'm not gonna like just make shit up to you and unfortunately I didn't get anything didn't get anything it's one of my favorite spots right in here it's almost like they made a campsite here once upon a time it's like a clearing with a hole and it had wood in it. It was like a fire pit without, that would never get set on fire. And then one day I noticed like people came in and started taking some of the stuff. I guess maybe they thought that, it was probably kids or something that thought it was like a hangout. And they must have thought like it was a fire pit. So they, you could tell they tried to hang out but they left in a This is where we seen the fox at one time. I had an amazing encounter over there many years ago. Not many, probably two or three. This is one of my favorite spots because it's the trail, it's the trailhead to all the trails, right? For the most part, almost all the trails lead to this point. It is really coming down. The deer are everywhere. They are all over the place, huh? This is probably deer related, cause see how, oh no, never mind. Something growing there. I'm gonna switch arms, this arm is getting dead. Always have it up. I'm gonna do a live stream, I need you guys help on something. Yeah, so I start, like, I just, even though it's raining, I start to get hot, you know, and then, it's, it's always in my head that I have to go back to a steaming hot vehicle. Every time I need to go somewhere, it's like, I don't, I don't want to go and do it. I, I miss out on a lot of opportunities. Damn, big deer. Big deer, but again... Is it big, big deer? No, it's just sand. It's changing, it's changing the makeup. But look at that, that's weird, right? There's nothing here and nothing there. So it must have been, it must have been really moving. That's really odd. It looks like it lit up back there, like at the back of the tree. It looks like it's, Really, maybe it's just the sand. It almost looked like it got really bright back there. It's kind of interesting. I 
it's more deer. Yeah, it's hard to say. Maybe it just galloped across and, you know, did a big couple one, two, threes and then leaped. Right, we don't usually go down here, but the deer have been. So let's see why. Hat back on. Oh, where is it? Come on, baby. Come on, hat. Work with me. I got it soaking wet the other day, and since then it's been very, very flimsy. What is that? What is that? What is that? It is some type of bone. Okay. Should I not touch it? That is some weird looking bone, guys. Have you ever seen that? It's like clear. It's like clear right there. Like blue. Um, you know, I'm no bone expert, but I'd say this is kind of a real interesting find. Maybe that's some more right there, huh? Yeah, sure enough, it is. I really don't know what this belongs to. If it's something, something like super rare, just on the off chance, um, I'm gonna hang on to it. And uh, I'll get with my, I'll get with my teams and uh, the outdoors and the hunters and trappers and stuff. I'll have to get with them about what these what these are. Okay. Whoa. That sounded like a dog. <laughs> like something dug deep in there. If you ever find bones and they look like they're in some kind of ritualistic fashion, definitely leave them. If they look like they've been placed a certain way, you, know, you want to leave them. That's why I was so cautious about the way I approached that. What's that back there? It's not bone. There's a chopper out here in this weather. And I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, it's really... It's actually... It's actually not even a... It's not even a chopper, it's just... The plane is so damn low. Found it over in here. I would love to be able to just find an animal and just tie it to it and be done with it. Something's telling me that this is not that's not normal. Like look how look how clear it is. And blue. And then this, I don't even know what that is. They could just be odd pieces that I'm not piecing, the, you know. Holy shit, that I'm not understanding what I'm looking at at the moment. I 
I'd love to have them a little cleaner. But it's the name of the game. There's some blue glass in here too. Very interesting. All right, we're gonna exit with our findings. All right, what the hell? What the hell, man? Like, what the hell is this? That was just right there. That's an ear, right? So whatever it is, it's not a big animal. It might have been, uh, this might have been fox. Maybe the fox were a uh, competition. Is that the fox down there? Maybe the fox were competition for, uh, or, or they were too loud. You know, could be anything. Man, all right. as much as I want to look around a little more, something big stepped here. Something really big stepped here. Look how wide that is to crush that whole spot. That's very wide. I gotta do some cleaning in here one day. There's quite a bit of uh, trash accumulating. in here. Oh, that's the way we came in right there. Alright, I'm going to try and keep this video going. The uh, water pellets keep hitting the screen. This camera is really good about about doing it. Um, I mean, it was, <laughs> this camera really, ever since I lost it that time, now, I, I was already paying quite a bit monthly, but now it's gone up between the replacement it costs to replace it when you look at that price and then and then now i have to i have to make sure i have that damn high-end insurance on it because I can't go through that again and i'm pretty sure something comes through here Pretty sure if I lose it again, they're gonna make it go up. I'm sure, so we gotta be careful. Anyway, I don't even know how I got on that topic. Oh, anyway, this yeah, it's worth every penny. It's super expensive this phone, but if anyone's looking for a phone that they want to use for a camera, like I mean, this thing is second to none. The other Galaxy cameras, the other um, Samsung Galaxies, any of them are great, but this 23 Ultra, I, I don't know anything that comes close. I had the 20, and I use it as a backup. It's, it is good. It is very good, but the zooming capabilities and, and that kind of stuff, it's just not there. Again, that looks like it might be a little wee folk, but even smaller than the last one. Wow. Whoa. Oh, sh all right. Okay. 
Okay, so many things just happened all at once. Um, all right, so I thought something, I just saw something huge go through there. Like right through that section, right? And it was like tan colored. And then I thought I saw something go through the here, through this gap. Um, right here, but it was looked like it was a large bird. And then almost instantly, I started hearing uh, like what sounds like a big dog or something woofing or whooping or something. And it did it a few times and then it stopped. So it is very possible somebody's out here walking their dog, but... Right, we can't rate that off. But I'm just letting you know what I hear. And what the hell just happened all at the same time, which is even weirder. And something dug there pretty damn good. These phantom footsteps are nuts. I'm not scared, guys, but you guys are startling the shit out of me. It's almost like they dug, something dug this up and got to that rock and left it. Or, I don't know, that rock's sticking out to me like it's... You'd think if it was down in the dirt, it would be a whole lot dirtier, right? The hell do I know? <clears throat> I took my hat off. I know it's keeping me dry. It's also a pain in the ass. Well, somebody came. Oh, there's a squirrel in them. Somebody's definitely come through here recently. But you see that you see that like step 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 step. Whoever this person was walks in a pretty much a straight line. So, for those people who say like, "Oh, only Sasquatch walks in a straight line," I'll tell you right damn now. I've seen footprints out there where people, I mean, foot over foot over foot over foot, like. I don't know how they do it. I'm assuming, I've actually known someone for a while, so, and they walk, when they walk, they kinda, they kinda like have a pigeon about them. So when they walk, they kind of like swing, and then they kinda swing again, and then they kinda swing again, and then they kinda swing again, and it's like, and they do also put their arms down too. So like, interesting enough, I've seen people that act very, very, uh, what's said to be Sasquatch-like, but more or less very, like, ape-like in the way they, in the way they walk and operate. Again, we got deer came across, across the trail here. I'd love to know where they are. I don't, I, I usually get to bump into them. Um... They could be hunkered down because of the rain. Oh, I'm really interested to check with somebody about these bones. I'm sure by the time the premiere comes, I'll, I'll have an answer for you. I'll check myself first. You know, I, I have my ways. Look, the deer came through here too. They might very well just be hunkered down in the long grass, like, right next to me. They could be right next to me, and they stand so still that you just... They lay so still, you just don't notice them. Usually it takes me uh, locking eyes with one, or, or for them to move.
But again, so it's the way I move about myself too that deer aren't really phased. Um, I kind of figured it out a little bit, but I don't know if I want to give away my secrets. Because I've been thinking about it because somebody said, I always hear someone say, Recently, it was Craig the Hunter, but uh, he was like, eh, deer just walk up to you. But I hear that all the time from hunters, mostly. Like Red Creek Mafia, too. Same shit. <clears throat> He's like, Mikey, I don't, I don't get it. My buddy Will. Will Cabrera. Yeah, this part of the sand is always kind of hard to walk in. I was actually debating on doing a live stream here, but uh, yeah, look at that. So that's that little, this is that little area where the, uh, somebody was camping and left in a hurry right there. There's the tarp, the sleeping bag, the pillow, you know, the water jug, right? Sometimes I wonder if this shit is left here uh, to to intimidate me or something, you know what I mean? And I don't want to sound cocky like I'm that important, but shit, there goes that car again. Came around again. Same white car coming around again. Same one. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I said something earlier about it. I can't remember at this point. I think it's all been one fluid video. But uh, I've been back to the truck a couple times since I started. So. If you walk out that trail, boom, it goes right to my house. Yeah, walk a little bit. It ain't nothing but a few, few minutes on foot. Now the sun's leaving. I mean, the rain's leaving. The sun's coming out. Awesome. I might go shoot some hoops after all. I'm debating on taking this tarp, there's nothing wrong with it, but I'm, I'm assuming it's out here for a good reason. Maybe the Sasquatch can use it. I don't like to take what ain't mine. Bad juju. Bad, bad juju. Alright, I'm gonna exit this. So, you guys came with me start to finish. That's where I had you guys sitting right there. Just facing out. I believe that's how it all started. If you get in here late, we gotta figure out what this blue and clear bone is here. Yeah. Maybe that's a normal thing. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure. I'm not a bone expert. But uh, actually, it's kind of funny. Speaking of Craig, that's what we did on Sunday. Um, I got some guests coming on this week too, guys. Keep an eye out. Wednesday night and Friday night are going to be uh, fun ones. So, please join us. Peace. See you on the next one.